Hi, this is uh, Dr. Don Wood, and I want to make a brief presentation on Pipe 2000 to show you uh, the efficiency and how this software uh, can make your job of modeling much easier. Creating a hydraulic model with the Pipe 2000 GUI is really a very efficient uh, process that anybody can learn uh, in just a few minutes and I want to lead you through this process uh, talking about background maps and how we lay out a pipe system and how we provide the data and run the analysis and show the results. Uh, this shows the uh, process we go through to uh, load a background map. Uh, we can uh, access a browser and load any number of vector or raster files including uh, USGS maps, uh, AutoCAD files, uh, a, a great number of types of files that we can uh, provide background maps. Uh, these are some examples. Here's an example of a raster file of a uh, county road maps for, uh, this is from Kentucky. Uh, this is an AutoCAD file showing a subdivision and in this drawing are shown the pipes which we could then use to uh, lay out our piping system. Uh, here's a USGS maps with uh, contour elevations. Uh, we can lay out a piping system using this as our guide. And finally here's a schematic drawing. Uh, not to scale but we could still use it as a guide to laying out a piping system uh, for this particular uh, approach we would input the lengths instead of having them scaled by the background map. Uh, we can also put in grids and use these as a guideline for laying out a piping system. Uh, this shows a thousand foot major grids and a hundred foot minor grid that we could use. Uh, we can use a combination of grids and maps to uh, provide uh, background scale and reference. Now laying out your pipe system is really as simple as one, two, three as we've indicated here. One is a left click where you can select an existing node or pipe. Two is a right click which will allow you to uh, lay down a node, either a starting node or an additional node with a pipe connecting to the selected node. And finally you can use the mouse to uh, select a node and from a drop down list uh, change it to any number of types of nodes, pumps, reservoirs, tanks, uh, maybe 20 different choices. So we're going to illustrate how to lay out a system with these next couple slides. The first node we would just point the mouse and right click as shown here. We could then move the mouse and right click again and it would add this pipe section and this new node. Now we can continue on by moving the mouse and right clicking. Uh, we can continue to develop our piping system. Now if we wanted to go back to a, a node that's already in there we would point at it and left click, that would select it and now we could start drawing pipes from that location. I could move the mouse as shown here and right click and I would add in the piping shown in this slide. If you want to change a node type you just select the node and on the right will be a drop down list and you can see all the different choices, hydrants, tanks. Uh, if we select the tank this particular node would be changed to a tank. So that's basically it. With these left click, right click, and the drop down list, we can develop any piping system we want. Now there are obviously additional features or, or commands for deleting and moving things, but these basic three steps would allow us to develop any system that we wanted. Well, the best way to evaluate any software is use it. And in order for you to be able to do this, we have a 50 pipe fully working uh, version of Pipe 2000 KY Pipe, which you can download and you can uh, 
uh, do the steps we just went through and lay out any sort of pipe system that you want. Uh, there's a lot of uh, about 45 different audio vi video tutorials that would uh, take you through many additional operations. Uh, if you had questions, you can certainly call our for technical support, and uh, you will also find that you get very good support from our uh, small staff of uh, developers and support engineers. Thank you.